Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 odd things your body says about you. So it turns out that our body parts can reveal a lot of things about us from our emotions, lifestyle and even health issues that we may not even know about. So guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I will reply. So coming in at number 10 we have tongue. So our tongues are really important even if it doesn't appear like they are. And experts say there's some interesting information you can tell about a person just by the way their tongue looks. If you have a very red, dark or pale tongue then that's a symbol of infection or a serious medical condition. So get them to get that checked out before you kiss them or share food with them. If you have a swollen tongue then that means you're experiencing too much stress. And if you have a sore tongue then that means you need to put out that cigarette because you've been smoking too much. And if your tongue's bright blue then that means you've been eating lollipops and you should probably give them all to me. So coming up next we have lips. So lips are another way to reveal things about people's lifestyles. If you have dark lips then that means you're smoking too much. If you have cracked or pale lips then that's a sign you're not getting enough zinc, iron or vitamin D in your diet. And if you have very full lips then that means you're healthy and less likely to develop health or mental issues. And if you have lips like this then you probably need to hire a better plastic surgeon. So next up we have fat. So when you look at a fat person you probably just think they're eating too much. And that may be one of the issues but scientists have recently discovered that there's more to body fat than most people think. And it's all to do with the location of fat on your body which can tell people what sort of lifestyle you live. For example, a fatty upper body means you're eating too much, a lot of upper back fat means you're not getting enough exercise, and if someone has a large lower abdomen they're probably suffering from anxiety or depression. And a swollen stomach or beer belly as it's also known means you're drinking way too much. So have fun finding out what people's lifestyles are just by their stomach, but just don't get caught staring at someone's stomach too long otherwise they might think you're a weirdo. But next up we have fingers. So the the length of your fingers can actually say a lot of very important things about you. Scientists say that if your index finger is longer than your ring finger then it's good if you're a man but bad if you're a woman. Because you're less likely to develop heart disease or prostate cancer if you're a man but if you're a woman there's actually more chance that you could get breast cancer. And if your index finger is smaller than your ring finger then apparently you think more logically and a lot of people with small index fingers go on to serve in the army or jobs like engineering and computer coding. So if you're a man then this is good either way but if you're a woman then it's not so good. But coming up next we have legs. So the shape of your legs can say a lot about you. And most people associate skinny legs with being healthy, however skinny legs can also mean you have a higher chance of heart disease. And people with short legs also have this problem. And if you have long legs then you're more likely to be a lust object because naturally more people are subconsciously attracted to people with longer legs because they believe it's more healthy. And that dates all the way back in history to our predatory ancestors. So if you have long legs then you should be very confident in relationships. But if you have short skinny legs then all I can say is sorry. But next up we have body shape. So I'm sure you guys have all heard about body shapes and the best body shapes to have But did you know that your body shape can actually say a lot about you as a person? If you have a rectangular body shape then you'd usually make a good athlete But you do crave junk food because you need more sugar and carbohydrates And if you have what's usually called a pear body shape then you're more likely to develop ovarian cancer if you're a woman But there is a trade-off because you're also less likely to have a stroke or get heart disease And if you have a round shaped body then you're more likely to crave junk food with a lot of starch And have more of a chance for high blood pressure and heart disease And if you have an hourglass figure then you're very healthy and less chance of having any medical problems at all. But coming up next we have toes. So this is a lot like the finger length one from before. Experts say that if you have a very long second toe then you're a born leader who thinks logically and if your third toe is long then that means you're easily motivated and you have a lot of energy. And if you have a short third toe then you usually like to lead a simple life and go with the flow. And now for the most common toe length issue that people have is a big long toe. So if you have a short but large big toe then you're an excellent worker under pressure and a multitasker. But if your big toe is very long and and big then you're more intelligent and more creative. Next up we have belly buttons. So when you're born and your umbilical cord is cut then you're either left with an innie or outy belly button. And if you have an outy belly button then you're very unusual because only 1 in 100 people have this. And if you have a small innie belly button well that's apparently most attractive according to the University of Michigan. Well it's not all bad if you have an outy so don't worry. Because if you have an outy then your belly button has less bacteria and it's more clean. Because it sticks out and there's nowhere for any dirt to go. Unlike an innie which can house all kinds of bacteria. So the question is would you guys rather be more clean? or more attractive. But next up we have hands. So the size of your hand can actually say some pretty interesting things about you. But wait a minute, put the tape measure down because there's a really weird and specific way to measure your hands. And the reason for this is so it's fair for all ages. What you need to do is place your thumb on your elbow and then if you can touch your wrist with your middle finger then you have large hands and if you can't reach then you have small hands. So if you have big hands then you're said to be more creative and more in touch with your emotions. And if you have small hands then you're a problem solver and a risk taker. And next up we have skin. So we're 
surrounded by skin all over our bodies, so it's pretty easy to tell what's going on with someone by how their skin looks. For example, you guys all know that if someone's looking very pale or green, then they're feeling ill, or if they have red patches, then they have a rash, a spot, or a sunburn, and if their skin looks pale in some places but not in others, then they may have an infection or a medical condition. But skin colour can tell you more than just medical things, for example, emotions. Red can mean you're either angry or embarrassed, pale skin can mean you're very anxious, scared, or tired, and if they're black and white, then they're probably a time traveller. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the weirdest thing your body parts say about you. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.